Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Waste back with another video on the channel. I'm actually using this M1 Pro. Whenever I start programming, I have to have some uh, IntelliJ instances open, WebStorm instances open. I'm also a mobile developer, so Android emulator and iOS emulator. I have one instance of Android Studio, one instance of Xcolony, and usually I have three browsers open, Firefox, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. So right now, take a look at my workflow. So this is the current state of uh, this computer. So I'm recording using ScreenFlow. I've got Chrome open. I also have this emulator open, this iOS emulator. And we also have this Android emulator open. Apart from this, I've got Microsoft Teams. I can't really show you that, but that's running in the background. There's an Xcode. And then we also have Android Studio. Apart from this, we have a one instance of VS Code, then three instances of a WebStorm. So this is my typical workflow when I'm working on multiple projects. Then I'll show you my IntelliJ, which is basically having three instances as well. Now, all of these uh, running, these are like development tasks, but there are a bunch of other applications running, like clean my Mac apps, clean short apps, Postman, Safari, Technology Preview, U-Track, GitHub, Outlook, Messages, Open uh, VPN Connect, this better touch tool, and then also have OneNote. Now, UDF also have Microsoft Word, Excel open as well. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because we're gonna talk about how much RAM is required for this kind of workflow. As you can see, I've got lots and lots of things open Usually on Chrome, I have like more than 20, 30 tablets on as well. You could see that what I have run, okay? Oh, not to mention, I have a Docker running as well. And Docker usually have uh, five or six containers running as well. So I just started my computer, that's why. And basically, I haven't really set it up completely. In terms of specs, I have 32 gigabyte of RAM in M1 Pro. And at this stage, if you take a look at this, uh, we have about 32 GB RAM, and then we got 9.01 gigabyte swap used. Now, as far as this, this you know, activity monitor goes, I don't really care as long as my workflow is seamless, like I can switch between application. Do I never wanna switch to Chrome, to Edge, to, to Safari? to WebStrom, to IntelliJ, to VS Code, to Android Studio, to Xcode. Application is switching very, very fast, and I don't really have to worry about how much RAM I have. Now, this is my typical workflow, and as you can see, how many applications I'm running. And if you are considering to buy M1 Pro, I think 16 gigabyte is more than enough for development work. Unless you are running a virtual machine using parallels, should go for 32, but 16 gigabyte is more than enough given the workflow that I've shown you. And not to mention, uh, before finishing the video, I've got a lot of applications running in the top bar, which basically does not appear. Uh, for example, uh, this paste, this uh, JetBrains toolbox, this casement, play my Mac X. Now, as you can see how much stuff that I'm running right now, and if you are considering to upgrade to M1 Pro, definitely upgrade, you will see a lot of problems boost, but don't really go for 32 gigabytes of RAM or even 64 gigabytes, that's totally overkill. And you can see my typical workflow. And if you have a similar kind of workflow, which I'm sure maybe most of the developers don't, and most of the developers probably like to close their application, which they're not using, then 16 gigabyte is more than enough. But if you like me, don't like to close application, then 32 or 16 should do the job. I haven't faced any lag or any slowness on the computer. It's been amazing. Stay tuned for more videos about M1 Pro and um, subscribe to the channel also. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.